Okay, so I am Arlena Gafford, and tonight this is our leadership training for December. And I am an Avon Gold leader with our Dream Big Avon team. So I do not uh, accomplish this on my own. It is a team effort. So I'm uh, very thankful for all of you who put in orders, whether it's a book order or a thousand dollar orders, um, or recruit, or you're learning how to recruit. So very grateful on that because that is what makes us an Avon Gold leader team. So um, as we go through this, you're going to see that it's not a one-person effort, um, even though I have my own goals and I have my own dreams and what I'm working for, it's also the group effort and how you can help others do this too. So I wanted to share pictures of just even the last week. <laughs> it's been crazy here. So um, we had our first snow of December. And for us, it might be the only snow for um, December. So that is something that um, we don't get to see all the time. And I went outside in my robe because it's warm. <laughs> um, and then my son and my niece, she was playing and of course the dog. Um, so I let them run around and um, thank, you know, fingers crossed and still, but they did not get sick. So that was really good. Um, and then, of course, we had a birthday party for Miss Hope, even though her birthday is December 22nd. Um, my daughter really wanted to have it where it's a little bit spaced out from Christmas so she could enjoy it and then have the presents experience from Christmas. Um, and I like that idea. So this is, of course, from the birthday and very, very like not even probably one percent maybe but of the pictures of the party so um she got a mini mouse chair um from someone at her birthday party and then the picture here with the clothes i thought this was really cute um those are the clothes that i bought for her as a gift because her mom said she needed clothes and so she actually started trying to put them on <laughs> so um, and then, of course, the birthday cake. So that was a lot of fun getting to see what she does with it. And um, she didn't do what her mom did. Jessica, uh, years ago, actually face planted into the cake. And her face was pink for a couple of days. So um, that was a fun experience. But she did play in the cake. And then my niece, Golly, she was glued to me. And um, we talked about cookies and all kinds of things. So I um, thought that was a cute picture um, to put up. So just a little bit of what's been going on, you know, the, over, just over the weekend, um, not even a full week, but you really want to embrace your family and enjoy those times with them and not always working. Or like I did, I took some time and enjoyed it, the snow with my kids and then turn around because I was at home and it snowed and it's not normal here in Alabama. Um, we actually, I did a lot of planning in my calendar too. So um, it helped for a couple of different ways. So the next thing we want to talk about is definitely welcome to our Avon Dream Big Team. So I know Tammy's been on here for a little bit, but we've got new members. So I know you're going to be watching this and just welcome to our Avon Dream Big Team. And I wanted to cover what we have done so far in 2017. So this isn't completely updated. We do have Campaign 26 um, for our um, year-to-date sale. So um, maybe next week or when we come back in January, I'll have our final numbers. But year-to-date so far, we are at $329,194. So very good job. We've sold over $300 this year. We have 198 reps on our team, so we are always a little bit over 200, a little bit under 200, and that is a huge accomplishment over last year. So the growth, we are to the plus of 73 reps over what we had this time last year. So very excited about that and how we're growing. Um, our average order size is growing too. So we have um, currently right now our average order size is $213.98. So that is huge. So everyone is really pushing harder to grow their business and earn more. 
um, this campaign, we had five new appointments and six new, um, six reinstatements. And reinstatements is when an Avon rep maybe came out of the business, but she wanted to come back or he wanted to come back and life had happened. So maybe they went out because of something, you know, family emergency for some reason, and they just couldn't do the Avon business at the same time and then they want it to come back. So reinstatements are definitely doable and they can come back um, within a year from going out um, and active. So definitely um, comment or message me if you're watching this and you're not an active Avon representative on our team because then I can look up and see if you can be a reinstatement or if you need to rejoin. Um, so 2017 goals. Um, I know we are not hitting every single goal and that is completely okay because we have seen increase and that is one thing that I am personally working on is always making sure that I am at an increase over what um, we currently did last year. So 2017 goal of 500,000, we're not there but over 300,000 so that's very, very good. Um, goal increase. So we'll have to see what our increase is. Um, between 2016 and 2017, our Avon rep goal, we're definitely pushing at 200 marks. So we're working on our way up to 600. Our 2017 average order is definitely up over 200. So that's really good. So last campaign, that's what our average order is, is the 213 and 98 cents. And then new appointments every campaign 25. So we have five new appointments and six reps coming back. So that's 11 additions to our team. So that's really good. So again, I know our goals are a little bit off, but that's one thing that you always want to think about is where do you want to see yourself in December of 2018? So when you're looking at where you ended 2017, you're always at an increase over what you did the year before. So that's something that you can definitely think about. Tammy, I know you're wanting to move forward and, you know, just have an awesome 2018 year. So leadership recognition are Avon representatives who are recruiting Sabrina, Lisa, Laura, Tracy, and Renee. And I meant to put this on here, but Laura is our number one recruiter out of everyone. So congratulations to Laura for working her business and congratulations to everyone for adding to your Avon team. So we are definitely at the end of 2017 cycle. And just think of this one thing, if this is all you did for 2018 and you got your team to jump on board, just a couple of them, what your team would look like. So imagine adding one new Avon rep a week for 52 weeks in 2018 just one new rep a week to your team you're not pushing big big numbers you're that's just your simple goal is adding one new person and then by the end of the year you're going to have 52 new avon reps on your team now out of those 52 reps you can work with each one and whoever takes the leadership bug and run with it and want to recruit too they can do the same thing, just adding one new person a week, and that's going to double your team. So it's really crucial to look at this and how can you just do that one new person a week and get a couple of the people on your team to do the same so they can earn extra money. So think about that as you're going into 2018. And then I want to continue our leadership recognition. So this is our campaign 25 sales numbers. So our leadership teams, Tracy's team sold almost $4,000. Laura's team at $1741. Sabrina, $1172. Um, and Laura's on here twice. That's supposed to be a race. <laughs> that was our previous sales. So um, this is a good way to actually look at this. Um, remember I said Laura is our number one recruiter and look at how she grew her sales from campaign 24 to campaign 25. They were only almost $800 in 24, but look at what campaign 25 sales were by adding people to her team. So big difference. So that's a good thing that um, I forgot to delete that so y'all can see how much she's growing her business. And then Lisa's team sales are over 300. 
So congratulations to everyone who has team sales because you're working on building a team and moving into bronze ambassador or hire or keep your titles. So definitely as you're learning this, this is going to help you move forward as you keep working at it every campaign. So another thing that you really want to do is give recognition to your team because that's going to help make them feel special for putting in orders and having big sales. And that's going to help them just keep going a little bit more. So think about recognition for your team. Um, now let's talk about the benefits of leadership. You want to say yes to advanced leadership, and this is what you are saying yes to. You are saying yes to higher earnings, higher bonuses and prizes. You are saying yes to bigger team of representatives and ambassadors. You're saying yes to more exciting opportunities and development with Avon, and yes to more knowledge and skills. One thing that I can definitely share with you is the knowledge and the skills that I have um, received from having my Avon business for almost 11 years is huge. So when you're thinking about, you know, what you're going to get out of this business, sometimes you're not sure what it's going to be. And I have um, more things that I want to share with you that I actually think um, are important that's not on this slide too. So first, true happiness comes from helping others. And that's really true. So I love seeing um, we've got um, leadership reps who sold more. Um, their team has hit new numbers. Um, so I'm excited and can't wait to share that. And I might just share it next Tuesday. Um, we have new PC members. We have um, reps who kept their PC sales title. So those are huge accomplishments. And I'm excited when I see you accomplishing that. And even just adding one new customer or one new rep, that is how we all started. I started in 2007 with one rep in June and eventually got it where I titled at, um, I believe it was October. <laughs> so um, it didn't happen overnight for me. So don't think it has to happen overnight for you. But I do um, no more than what I need then and I know how to help and guide you to get it quicker than what I did. So um, true happiness definitely comes from helping others. And these are benefits that I really um, love about this as well. So helping others become successful, helping others provide for their families, being able to take time to be with family without hurting your business, whether it's for fun or an emergency, so like this note, I can still go out and have fun with my kids, um, well, with my um, son and my niece, and then still go Saturday to my granddaughter's birthday party and not hurt my business because I could take that time off and not worry. So that's one thing that you really want to do. And then if it is an emergency or maybe, you know, someone's just having a baby, <laughs> um, I could go and help my daughter this time last year. Is um, a lot of you know, um, you know, we were in and out of the hospital a few times thinking she was going to give um, labor, have hope, <laughs> um, earlier in the month or November. I mean, we were there um, constantly. So I could take time off for that. So you really want to make sure that you have um, that benefit of the leadership business. That's one thing that I really think um, is a huge benefit for you um, having a leadership business. The next thing is mentoring others. So again, helping others become successful, guiding them in what they want to do. So whatever their why is, you can direct them in how Avon can benefit them. Teaching, you get to teach others um, what you know and what's worked for you. So that's a passion of mine. Um, earning more than ever before, there is a lot of benefits uh, on the earning side too with this business. So definitely you can earn a lot more and becoming great friends with more and more reps on my team. So I really love that. Um, I am becoming close to a lot of you and we get to chat often now and throughout the month and I get to see you on Facebook and know what's going on in your life. And just that to me is really beneficial. I didn't realize the friendships that you really create and have when you are in the save on business. So a lot of benefits to becoming a leadership representative and growing a team. 
And then the leadership earnings, of course, we are in this for some of us to really make serious cash. And some of us just wanted to make a couple hundred dollars. Um, so the new leadership comp plan, so that is coming out. We will know um, shortly, but um, I figured the below, um, the earnings below um, on your first generation. So your first generation are those representatives that you recruit. So um, Tammy is someone that is in my first generation. Tracy is someone who is in my first generation. Laura is in my second generation. So when you're looking at your earnings, you earn more on your first generation and you still earn on your second and third. And one of the benefits is we're gonna earn on our fourth and fifth generations in the new compensation plan too. So um, what I did though for this, to give you an idea of what you would earn at each level of the leadership plan, um, it's just to figure it if all of your first generation brought in what you needed. So bronze ambassador is a thousand dollars in team sales. They did this in one campaign, you earn $21. Silver ambassador, 56. Gold ambassador, $140. Bronze leader, $364. Silver leader, 656. Gold leader, $1,120. Bronze executive leader, $2,240. And so again, this is just an estimated of earnings that you can earn at each level. So as you're moving up in the program, you might actually have people who sell more and do more than what's required for that level and so you're gonna earn more. So really think about that and can you believe your eyes? <laughs> Imagine helping your team earn this money too. So again, you're helping your team, maybe they only need a little bit of money. Back then, our titles were called unit leader. So unit leader was bronze ambassador, and that's what I earned. And so with that, I was just growing, and I wanted to help others. And it wasn't to make serious cash back then. It was just to make a couple hundred dollars between sales and leadership, and I was fine with that. So you really want to look and see what your team wants to accomplish too and help them. So definitely take you know, a picture of this. I will put this up on our team page so you can always pull it. But um, this just gives you an idea of what you can earn with your leadership business. And then I really wanted to show y'all what our chart looks like. So, um, this is our new compensation plan. It might um, change just a little bit, but I believe this is the final one. In January, we will definitely know and they'll tell us when it will go into effect. And it's not much um, of a difference from where we are now, with the exception of we have extra earnings and a little bit of difference once you hit um, bronze leader. So all of you are starting new, so you can just study this plan. Um, so love this new fourth generation earnings in the leader section and even fourth and fifth generation earnings when you're in the executive level. So a lot of that. And then this is another benefit as a new representative, um, you know, in leadership. So maybe you're just starting out with your leadership program where whether you've been in for a few campaigns or a year or one campaign, you actually earn more now on your first generation. So um, as just a star promoter. So that's another benefit to this. So even when you have two people on your team, you're going to start earning more money um, in this program. So definitely get on board, <laughs> um, start recruiting and get your two people and just work your way up. So this is a question that you can comment in the chat box and I would love to see um, your response. So how do you recruit? Do you recruit online, in person, Avon flyers, Avon labels, setting a goal of how many people to prospect in a day, a week, in a month? Do you recruit your customers? Are you offering the Avon opportunity to everyone you meet? Um, what about events, blogs, um, calls, giveaways in person and online? So here is the question. So who's gonna um, comment in the chat box? How do you recruit? So when you are out working your business or you're working from home, how are you working it? 
Um, and this is just a cute little picture. I'll put some of these pictures up for y'all as well. Um, so you can use this as you're recruiting if you want to through text or your um, social media pages. So you can start your side gig. Only two more steps to start your beauty biz. So just comment, let me know, I wanna know. So whether it's something on this list or maybe you have something else that you do or simply you haven't started yet and you're on this because you wanna learn how to recruit. Whoops, okay. So this is something that I really um, want you to think about. So my three recruiting tips for you. One, focus on being intentional with your activities. That means what activities are you going to do? Be intentional every day, every week on those activities. You want to focus on productive activity over numbers. So instead of always saying, well, I want to recruit 50 people, you can say, okay, I'm going to prospect 50 people this week. And out of those, you're going to get recruits from that. So we definitely want to push, like I um, did in 2016, I wanted to recruit 100 people in a, um, a quarter. So that was every three months, 100 new people. And because I focused on those intentional activities that needed to be done in order to recruit 100 people, I didn't hit that 100 mark, but I did hit 53 in my first quarter. So that was huge for me. So that really grew the team as well. So you wanna think about how to be intentional and what productive activity you can do. And then number three, bring your current and new leaders on board with you. So maybe, again, you don't have any leaders on your team or you're not a leader yourself yet. Start with these um, recruiting tips and then work your way on bringing other people on board with you. So your focus determines your reality. So what is your focus? And I love this um, little phrase because when I really sat here and thought about last year and even this year and even just the last few weeks, my focus has been on gold leader, making sure I hit those numbers with my team and look at what we are doing. In campaign 24, we went over gold leader numbers. And in 26, I believe we have hit it again. So I have to wait until it updates for that. But look at what, um, what our reality becomes when we focus on that. So what are you gonna focus on? So definitely think about that. Um, Tammy says she's done flyers but haven't gotten any. Sometimes it takes time to really pass out tons and tons of flyers. One thing that I will tell you, really talking with someone one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's online or in person, definitely helps because you can kind of make the Avon opportunity based on whatever they need. So if they're wanting to be a stay-at-home mom, but they work a full-time job, then you can show them how they can bring the money in to do that. If they are just wanting a couple hundred dollars, well, you know, that flyer might not, you know, it might not say everything that they need to hear that Avon can do, but we also have different flyers and I have uploaded the free resource. Um, I updated some of the flyers in there. So check that out. Um, I believe the new flyer is on there. I know we have a new flyer in our team page, but um, check it out and see. But try talking to a few people as you're going out too. So being intentional. How many people do you want to prospect every single week will definitely help you. Um, so the next slide is about fundraisers. So as you are growing your business, and you really want more sales and leadership, you might be wondering, well, how do I even get to the $1,000 mark? Or how do I get to the $20,000 mark or 40,000 or, you know, whatever level you are working on. And fundraisers can really help you get to those higher levels in leadership. It can really be the bridge between where you are now and where you want to go. So really think about how you and your team can actually grow your leadership sales with fundraisers. And this is a picture of mine. <laughs> um, I know you all know, um, or maybe you don't, but I have been doing a fundraiser every year and I'm not the queen in fundraisers. So um, I can help you 
but I don't know everything about it just from my experience over the last five years. But um, this is a picture of last year's, um, well, no, actually this is 2015. 2016, it was a lot, <laughs> um, way more than that. But um, anyway, so uh, 2015, these were my boxes from my fundraiser. And I thought that was just a cute picture to put up back then and even now to get you really thinking about how fundraisers can bring those extra sales that you need. So not only do you want to work on fundraisers, but you want to have your team work on fundraisers. And then we do have cute buttons at Town & Country that says, ask me about Avon fundraising. You can just put that on every day and have someone ask you about it because it's right there and they can look at it. So um, just something else that you can really think about. And it's going to also help you if you are personally doing the fundraisers move into the presence recognition program even more. So we'll talk more about um, that program next week, but fundraisers can really help in a lot of different areas with our business and leadership is one of them. So what do you want to do about the fundraiser? So this just shows a few of our program of flyers. Um, it does change every quarter or every six months. So some of these will be coming out. So make sure you study the fundraiser flyers um, every time that you get ready to work um, with organizations to get them involved. Um, you wanna choose the program of flyers that you're gonna do with them. So you can actually say, um, here's a picture or here's a copy or however you wanna do it, email it or have it on hand and have it ready so you can say, these are our flyers that we currently have. Would you like to do a fundraiser with all of them together or would you like to do just a couple different ones? Um, so definitely work with your organization to do that, or it can even be a person working on a personal fundraiser as well. Um, and one thing that you definitely want to do is hold one fundraiser a campaign. So I challenge our Dream Big team to, we want to hold a fundraiser every single campaign from campaign one to campaign 26. Now, I know one is a little bit around Christmas and so is two, but we really want to start thinking about who we can start um, approaching and sharing how we can help them raise funds for their organization, their trips, whatever they're needing, and then definitely start those fundraisers in three and four. Um, so really think about who you know, and this is something that you can do with your personal team as you're growing your team too. Think about holding a fundraiser every single campaign and who is going to hold that. So maybe you hold a couple throughout the year and then you, you have your team members do a couple throughout the year and you're going to see that's one fundraiser campaign. It's just going to snowball. So <laughs> you really want to think about that. So get your team involved and look at the fundraisers. They also earn um, up to 50%, so you determine the um, percentage of their earnings, so what they're doing. Um, so a lot of great things that you can do with that that Avon gives us. So Avon Fundraising is under the earnings tab um, when you are on your Avon.com. So Avon U, more trading, free trading, that is another benefit. You have lots of trading on leadership, sales, and more at Avon U. So a new um, site that Avon did for us. So when you are logged into your account, click on Avon U and just go through it. There's different topics. You can earn badges and points for different things. So definitely um, explore that. You can always do it on your time. So it's not, say like this is at a certain time, and I will have this uploaded on YouTube, but you can go in to the Avon U anytime that you're open and you have some, uh, you know, free time to do it. We do have a private team leadership call on Thursdays. This is open for all promoters and up on our team once a campaign. Um, the goal of this is to partner with each other, learn, network, uh, figure out what's working for one, share ideas. So maybe what's working here in Alabama isn't working in Texas. So um, we really want to just um, chit chat and really talk about what's working. So I encourage all of you to get at least one person on your Avon team so you can start joining our calls. And the next one is this Thursday at noon. 
So if you have one person on your team, um, check your email for details. And we will open this up as we go to everybody. So just something new that I'm um, working with our leaders. Now, Rep Fest 2018, who's excited? So um, who, 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 comment in the chat box. I'd love to see um, July 27th through the 28th. I am ready for them, um, Avon, to tell us where we are going next year. They say it's going to be the biggest event of 2018. Um, Crystal is excited. So, yay. So, um, we'll definitely have to meet up more than a couple minutes like we did this year. <laughs> so, um, but it is Friday, July 27th through Sunday, July 29th. Um, bigger and better than ever before. It is a top secret location, registration information, everything. Um, our most of what we need will be announced in January. So I cannot wait to hear. And Tammy, you can go. So I know Lisa wants to go again, um, depending on location and funds and everything like that. I know I want to take my son and do like a family vacation. So I might not be rooming with um, Avon reps again, but Lisa will be going and she wants a roommate. So maybe y'all can um, team up and share the cost of the hotel. Um, so we'll definitely think of things that we can do. And Crystal, we'll think of like get togethers or something. <laughs> so um, there's no telling. First, we got to figure out where we're going and what we're doing. And um, I can't wait. So it's always a lot of fun. And Crystal can definitely tell you. All right. So now let's talk about a free trip as well. So I know I've um, shared about Cruise Like a Boss, but we're still, we're like right in the middle of Cruise Like a Boss. It ends in campaign six. And if you think you cannot earn it, don't think that because it is based on leadership. And I really wanted to share this with you. So you can earn points from sales. And so for myself, I look at um, sales points as a freebie. Um, it's just free points because I know what my sales are average every single campaign. But if you're not in that situation, then you really want to plan. This is again where this is going to help you. So when you are pulling out your planner, what do you need to do every campaign to get this cruise? Remember, if you cannot take the cruise, take the money. Don't think that you cannot work for this incentive because you're scared of boats or it conflicts with time, um, something else that you already have planned. So really think about how you can earn it and take the cash instead. So with this, and Crystal, I don't know where the where Rep Fest 2018 is yet, but they are going to announce it in January at the Leadership Summit. And I'll have to wait just like everyone else because I just don't know if I'm going to be able to afford it. <laughs> um, I've got a wedding to plan for and make sure I have everything for it. So um, with the cruise, this is really what you want to focus on. I would do a couple different things with the cruise. I would really work on recruiting new people in, onto your team and um, help them have a $150 first or second order. Um, so you get 300 points. So that's this right here. And then the other thing that I would definitely do is help them have additional $150 orders so you get extra points. And then you move up in title. So where we are in campaign 26, you could say, okay, in campaign one, I want to add one new person and really start snowballing the effect and get yourself up to gold ambassador or even bronze leader if you have a lot of those fundraisers going in too because of the new program. And what we heard, but it's not concrete, so do not quote me, but we did hear campaign five is the estimated date. So if that is true and you move up to bronze leader by campaign five, you're going to get extra points there too. And you don't have to have anyone titled in your leadership. So there's a lot to play with this to earn the Avon cruise. So if you're not sure how to get the cruise, or if you just want to brainstorm, please, please, please reach out to me so I can help you because this is going to be very doable. And this is where you can take someone with you for free or you can earn your trip and then buy in the other ticket. So, um, or take the cash, like I said. So it's just completely up to you. 
Now, the other thing that you can work on is, of course, your sales, making sure they're $300 or $500 every campaign to get those points. And then you can mentor a rep on your team um, when they promote to bronze ambassador or higher, which is definitely going to help you move up as well, you'll get 500 points. So a lot to this that you can actually do. So really think about that. So the next thing we want to do is here's again, um, just a tracking sheet. So Avon does have five, but you can really track it yourself. So um, print this. I don't think it's on our Naturally Beautiful Tips dot com page but it is on our dream big facebook page so you can print this track it or just keep up with it yourself you know on a piece of paper however you want to do it <laughs> um so our cruise like a boss ranking report i'm excited because i see some of you are really moving in points um so definitely growing and growing even 100 points or 200 points that's getting you started on this cruise so definitely remember, look at the activities that you need to do in order to get the cruise. Um, and I just want to give a couple shout outs. Lisa has 1,600 points. Um, Susan has 500. Tracy has 1,200. Um, let's see, who else? Stephanie has 500. Peggy has 500. Um, I know Laura, yep, Laura has 2,000 points. So a lot of you, so just congratulations on being on this um, ranking report because out of 200 reps on our team, look how many is working on the cruise. So congratulations to all of you. Diane has 500. Um, so lots and lots of points for everyone. So definitely, definitely look at it. And again, if you want some one-on-one -on -one help, I'm all for it. So um, message me. All right, so let's see. Crystal says, um, yay, if I can help my upline will tell us, then I will tell you, yes. Um, anybody that's going to their <laughs> um, leadership summit, I might have a couple of friends going as well, so we definitely need to know all the goodies, <laughs> um, which I'm sure we will, but anyway, it's just... Um, so, okay, so last fish for Christmas orders and titles. So campaign 26 for a lot of us have updated. Um, if it hasn't, then you want to push for campaign 26 sales to be as high as you can because it does in the 2017 cycle. So push, 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 make presence club, get um, bronze ambassador or whatever level you're working on. But campaign one also um, starts the new cycle. And remember, we get double dollars in campaign one. So when you are in that campaign one, you can push for titles and your new um, sales goal too. So when you're looking at um, campaign one, it is the last push for Christmas orders, um, traditional, online, and team sales. So remember, Avon had those 12 days of deals. Um, that you can focus on with your customers. Then we have the brochure if you're doing traditional orders and then recruiting and building your team sales. Then I want to share a couple of things with you. So this is completely number one is my opinion only. Um, all traditional orders need to go in no later than December 15th. This will give Avon time to ship it to you, UPS to get it to you, and then you can deliver it to your customers. So that is completely my opinion. Avon did not give us a cutoff date this year. Um, so I will say December 15th. That way it gives them time to process your order and for you to do everything you need to. Now, I am giving my customers, because I am in flex, they can put their order in on the 15th, but if they need it after Christmas and pay me after Christmas, then they can do that as well. So we're going to have a little bit, of course, that leeway with it. So just look at your calendar when you need to pay for your orders and when you need to deliver. Okay, so um, again, if you need tips on that, just message me. Now, Avon did give us online um, sales. So your online store, they did give us dates. December 14th for Standard Ground, um, that's the $5.95 shipping or free shipping with a $40 order. Noon is the cutoff, December 14th at noon Eastern. Expedited two to three days is December 20th. 
and then expedited next day is December 21st. So really make sure your online customers know about this so they can go ahead and get those orders in if they need to have it before Christmas. And then team sales, I would just still shoot for um, like traditional sales. So you want your team placing orders by the 15th for campaign one if they need it by Christmas. If they don't, then they can just do, you know, what my RPS7 schedule will be on a Thursday. Um, even though I'm going to do my order early if anybody needs their um, order back for Christmas with my customers. But um, your recruits, anybody new that you bring on board, you want them December 15th if they're doing a Christmas order. Um, or if not, then they can just follow their schedule. So um, just call Avon and ask, or again, just ask me and I can help you. Um, I really wanted to give y'all, um, sign someone onto your team again, what this is. And I think I actually hear UPS outside my window, y'all. <laughs> um, so sign someone onto your team. You want to send them to startavon.com. Um, enter your reference code. So make sure they know what your reference code. And again, just want it to real quick, make sure you know what this is. My reference code is A Gafford. So my website is youravon.com slash A Gafford. And that is what your um, reference code will be as well. So look for your e-store. So this is your e-store right here. So this is going to be yours, but this part right here is going to be different. Okay. So really think about what yours is um, and look under web office if you're not sure what your online store link is. And I believe that is UPS outside my window. <laughs> All right. So um, the free training. So of course I give a lot of free training for you and Avon does too. So naturallybeautifultips.com is my website. Then I have youtube.com slash C slash Arlena Gafford for all of our videos. And this is definitely where you can find all of our webinars and different training videos that um, I have for you. And I have right now a customer series that I just started. I did the first customer video yesterday and I'm going to do, keep doing them on different topics. Um, I believe I can have 10 different videos just on customers. And then, of course, um, Avon, so your Avon.com at Avon U is a lot of free training, too. Then, for all of our representatives who could not attend the live party, we are going to do a virtual team Christmas party on December 19th. Um, so, it will be at 8 p.m., and we'll do a little bit of fun that's not recorded and chit-chat, and then we'll have our regular webinar as well. So, come back for December 19th on that. And then we will take a little bit of a break with the webinars and pick back up in January um, 2nd. So definitely um, mark that on your calendar so you'll know um, what we're going to do. But I know some of you, of course, you can't come like Tammy lives in a whole other state. So uh, a little bit harder to get to the actual Christmas party. So I'm going to do some drawings and different things and have them ready to go for all of you. Um, so all I have to do is put your name on it. So um, a lot of cute little things that we're going to do then. And then last but not least, your goals. So what is the missing piece between you and your goals? Do you see what it is? So you are holding your missing piece. And this is really true. So when I started looking at what is missing between me and Gold Leader and what I was working on for so many years, I kept going, well, that's me. That's what's missing from this piece. So, of course, you're going to have, say, team sales and fundraisers and recruits and leadership reps and um, other people, uh, like other Avon representatives who give you ideas and help you brainstorm to get to your goal, but it's also you. So, you really want to believe in yourself and get yourself to your goal. So, really think about what you want for 2018. I challenge you. So, again, we're going to have our webinar next um, Tuesday, then we're going to come back January 2nd, but between now and then, you really want to start thinking about where you want to be this time next year. So that um, I hope you enjoy and um, go for your goals for 2018. And um, what will you do? So comment below. I would love to hear what you're going to achieve.